It was the scariest scene and thing I'd ever witnessed. I did not know what had actually happened for a few minutes. And then I realized that we weren't in the water anymore. I started to panic, as did Nate and Trisha, my friends. They immediately left the scene and went to look for help. Um, on the island, this is a state island, there's no electricity, there's no camps, there's no roads. At that point, nobody else was, out, else was in the boat except for me. People had been ejected. And um, I was frantically searching without much direction, without much light, and it was a horrible scene. And I wasn't actually told of what happened and um, that Tiffany was no longer with us until several hours later when I was in custody at the, um, the police barracks in Old Forge. Pretty early on, I, I knew when I came to terms of the fact that I was going to prison, that I needed to go to prison, that that was probably the only thing that would clean my life up. One to three years wouldn't have done it. County jail time wouldn't have done it. Probation, sure as heck, would not have done it. Being in there for three and a half years did it. I had forgiven him. When we went to the courtroom when he was sentenced, we all went, um, and I put words to paper. I had things he needed to hear from me before he went away because I figured this is the last time I'm ever going to see him again, not knowing what was oh, in my future. I had not foreseen that. My husband got a text from a friend that said that he was on the news doing one of these stop DWI presentations at, for FM school. So I just composed a letter. I said, you know, hi, it's me, and I'm sure this, this is a big surprise to you, and as, a, as, as it is to me, um, would you like to get together and work on some stuff? I didn't know if he knew we were working on the law. I didn't know what he knew. I had no idea. And he immediately responded back. The boating mentality when it comes to drinking and driving, the, it doesn't exist. There's no fear there. Bad, People yeah. will tie up all day long and party. Mm -hmm. And then they'll untie and they'll get behind their boat and they will drive it home. I know that we have a duty and a responsibility. I know that I do. And I think Mary Jo really feels the same way about mm -hmm. that. Um, so we're not going to just go... And, and move forward with our lives and rebuild um, for the sake of that. I think we really want to reach people because we know that people are teachable, that young people can be reached, and that a message can be told if done so in the right way. I believe we have to make something good out of the tragedy that happened. And if we can save lives, if we can, you know, clunk some other kids on the side of the head and make them yeah. aware that, you know, that's, that's, then we're doing good stuff.